A long time ago, in 2017, I built a dowelrod sculpture. It consisted of 4,240 cut dowelrods and took me about a year to complete. The sculpture was based on an image. Here the image is being converted to a false color map. The red pixels correspond to bright regions in the image and the blue pixels correspond to dark regions in the image. I then converted the pixel intensity to a dowelrod height. The brighter the pixel, the higher the dowelrod. And there you have it, a massive dowelrod sculpture based on information from a digital image. This project took me forever because I manually measured each dowelrod, cut it, placed it in the correct location, and glued each one in one by one. What was I doing? Well, years have passed and I'm interested in doing it again. Uh, I just can't seem to resist cutting dowel rods. I don't know why, but this time I'm trying to create them faster. I did three things to speed it up. One, make smaller dowel rod sculptures. Two, automate the measurement system. And three, use epoxy to fix all the dowel rods simultaneously. How does the system actually work? First, I needed a device for holding dowel rods and accurately measuring them for being cut. Here, I'm assembling the five 3D printed parts, stepper motor, and lead screw. The stepper motor is homed using an IR emitter and receiver. I determine the relationship between steps on the motor and dowel rod length. The dowel rod slides into place, and then I cut it with an X-Acto saw. But where does the sculpture data come from? In MATLAB, I tried creating interesting 2D functions. The information is then converted into dowel rod lengths and copied into an Arduino program. The program stores the information and translates the lead screw so the dowel is cut to the correct length. A button is pressed to update to the next dowel rod. A rotary encoder can also be used for quickly selecting the dowel rod I want to cut. Here's a schematic for the system so you can see how everything is connected. I tested it on a breadboard and then soldered an Arduino shield for the device. After cutting a dowel rod, it's held in place with this 3D printed grid holder. The grid holder eventually fills up with all the dowels. Once all the dowels are cut, it's time to drop the dowels into a pool of epoxy, which is horrifying. This little trap door slides away and the dowels fall in. Definitely had some troubleshooting involved at this stage. I had to put this project aside more than a few times because it hurts when a system fails right at the last step after all the work of cutting the dowels. The epoxy idea actually came to me later in this project. Initially, I was gluing dowels one by one, stuck in my old ways, sanding each layer down and then gluing them together, mixing up dowel rods, glue everywhere, it was terrible. After building two sculptures in this way, I finally came up with the idea of dropping the dowels into epoxy, which significantly reduced the assembly time. Once the epoxy sets, the dowel grid holder and epoxy bed are removed and the sculpture is complete. Now I can make one of these little sculptures in a few hours, which is pretty relaxing to me. For full instructions on how to assemble the device, check out the link to the Instructable in the description. And thanks for watching.